Nepal is known for its nature, the Great Himalayan, which is a preferred destination of timeless journeys. Borderland between India and China, Nepal is also the place of deep spiritualities and rich culture, with mystical temples and monasteries. Despite its authentic and pure beauty, Nepal people are suffering from lack of opportunities and a development that is often not sustainable. 30% revenue are from remittance, mainly youth, sent in Gulf countries for unskilled jobs. Climate change has a high stake on agriculture output, where more than 68% of population rely on it. Heavy monsoon and long droughts are affecting many. A sector with a lot of potential is tourism, with 80% of GBD employing 1 million of people directly, but is restricted to a few months a year in uncontrolled numbers, especially in three areas, Everest, Annapurna and Lantang. This creates significant problems of both anthropogenic and cultural pollution. Many mountainous areas are losing their characteristic and the delicate man-nature balance millennia hold is endangered. This significant image were shot inside Sagarmata National Park, shortly after Namche Bazar. There is need to focus on diversification and resilience by providing rural communities with opportunities and future. Sustainable tourism and trekking can be a solution and an answer. Nepal geographical conformation is unsuitable for large infrastructural projects for mass tourism, especially in rural and mountainous areas which luckily is adequate for tracking routes development with improved facilities and self-sustain in terms of food, services and products. Garima Voyage promotes this type of tourism. It was founded in 2017 and Garima means dignity in Nepali. The idea of using tourism as a vehicle for promoting territories and communities comes from the joy experience of the two founders, myself, Federica Riccadonna, I'm from Italy and I always have a combined love for travel and an interest in new culture to develop a broader concept of peace and well-being. And my husband now, Rabindra Rial, a former Maoist combatant who joined the Liberation Army at only 15 years of age, leaving his family, driven by the desire to find solutions to the serious problem of poverty and discrimination in facing Nepal. Both of us have seized an opportunity in tourism to open up to a greater awareness of the importance of peace as a possible supporter for cultural and economical transformation. From the very first step, Garima Voyage undertaken various initiatives to support its mission. Through local projects involving international personalities and students for supporting a sustainable approach to mountains, the two editions of the so-called Himalayan Sounds and also international initiatives by facilitating the official hosting of the Nepalese flag between other 95 countries present in the Colle Miravalle in Rovereto, symbolizing the commitment for peace and prosperity. Other three editions of the Peace Tour, with the participation of national and local authorities, allowing distance communities and society to come together, know each other, and exchange ideas, projects and training. In 2018, thanks to the involvement of SAT, Società Alpinisti Tridentini, a new project was developed to provide cultural, economic and social development for rural and mountainous community in the district of Sindupalchok, 40 km from Kathmandu, the Melanchi municipality. Almost unknown for mass tourism, Melanchi is the perfect place for sustainable tourism, attentive to needs of travel but respectful for the tradition and belief of the local community. By using a common thing, the trails, to develop a specific destination for sustainable trekking.
After identification of tracking rules, training of a working group in collaboration with the local authorities and the technical assistance of SAT, in the first phase we have mapped seven tracking routes in the Melanchi municipality. Standardized signal and boards, red and white color, have been used and for logistical reasons and better planning, we have adopted a number system that go from 100 onwards from the parts on the right side of the river and 200 for those on the left side, while 300 in the northern part. Intervention led to the immediate creation of Homestain from 1 to 10 in less than a year has encouraged the capacity building and training for those on stay offering food and facility to the visitors. Initiative from local authorities have promoted them and support the creation of a working group for route maintenance and services for tourists and also promotional events. Up to now, the extended network of paths is covering also the Patch Pocari area, a rural municipality in the north part of Melamchi, with in total more than 60 kilometers of trails. The initiative has attracted a lot of interest and the new intervention didn't go unnoticed, bringing new pleasant opportunities. It still extended the network and requests are coming from various municipalities involving other area, communities and products. It covers an area of such diversity, from 800 meter height of the Melanchi Valley and its river up to 4,300 meter of Pach Pocari, which is an important cultural and religious place, which literally means five lakes. The culture and tradition of the ethnic groups enrich the experience and in a beautiful scenario which include Juga Limal and Dorje Lakpa that reach up to 7,000 meter height and will be in the future the destination of our new itinerary. As President of SAT Anna Facchini explained, three ingredients have been proved very effective for making this project concrete. People commitment, local authorities and technical assistance. A few months were enough to actually develop along the trekking routes resting points with homestay and services for the people. The developed routes aim both at expanding the tourist offer, allowing more communities to have positive economic benefit, and in giving the tourists an authentic experience. An important factor is to be able to combine and mediate between the needs of the visitor of virgin environment and authentic culture with the well-being and respect of the local communities. A sustainable and attentive approach to fragility and beauty of territories, which is a major attraction for trekking tourism, can lead to replicable model, where environmental protection, cultural promotion and preservation, well-being and development are the goals. This also leads to initiatives in protecting the territories with human intervention, allowing dangerous terrain of risking of abandonment to be safer and supporting disaster and risk management actions. Mm -hmm.